Hey everyone, it's Jerry here, and welcome back to my channel. I do realize it's been a while, and I just wanted to update you as to where I've been and what I've been up to. So let's get into it. downtown San Mateo right now I got my uh, urban ritual right here uh, they had a pop-up I believe in I think some Redwood City and then they came to downtown San Mateo and SF and they're pretty good they have a lot of specialty boba drinks matcha matcha toffee uh, mango something uh, chrysanthemum tea and herbal teas and interesting flavors like like purple something but yeah I definitely recommend giving it a try if you're in the SF Bay area um, and yeah as you could probably guess I moved back pretty recently from the Orange County area back to South Bay in uh, the San Francisco Bay area and uh, it's been a very very crazy time um, we've been going through a lot of things in the world and I think the last video I made was about Canada and why it's so great and this video is is quite you know we're living in a very different time than than my mindset what, what it was just last video even so and that was just like five six months ago and I, I was just in my apartment in Costa Mesa recording that it was it was really cool I mean yeah let me let me let me update you on that situation first of all um, I moved to Costa Mesa I moved to the Orange County and physically it's a little region right below LA County in uh, the LA area and very very cool place like nice beaches um, just good weather like it's quite hot and warm um, I live very close to this beach called Newport Beach and this area called Irvine in general, Santa Ana, Costa Mesa, um, lots of good restaurants, shops, um, just living up the California lifestyle. And I mean, there's always there's so much to do and see um, constantly before this you know situation that I haven't quite talked about yet. And I know that hopefully we'll look back on this situation and see say say that wow it was a very crazy time but you know we survived and uh we can look back and say like we grew from it and are grateful for it hopefully i'm not grateful for it yet it's personally um it, 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 i'm gonna go into more details about that i'm just gonna talk about costa mesa and update about that um yeah but anyways i lived in this area uh, costa mesa i lived in this apartment called the parsons uh, next to my friend Michelle and uh, we both happened to just move down there to that area without even telling each other and I mean within the span of one week we both moved in and it was cool I mean I moved in and there's like a bunch of problems with the place um, really good times just like looking back like we both had cockroach problems um, I remember I was moving in my refrigerator very small teal refrigerator um, and that was fun. I mean, then I started learning to cook more and starting to make some pastas, um, and like made some like vegan pastas, like chorizo with, um, like to a, a, a tomato base called Americiana with bucatini. Um, went to Whole Foods a lot and, uh, and then I made some pho and uh, I made a lot of fish. Um, and then I started to try to go out eat tea a little bit, but um, things got a little crazy with work. Uh, I, I got a lot of work uh, in the Bay Area and LA. Um, just looking back, I mean, I could create a whole video about that. Anyways, going back to Costa Mesa in that apartment, I wish I had more pictures of it. Just like, I'm grateful for that apartment. Like, even though it was like not the best apartment, it was. 500 square feet and uh, I mean I had a lamp um, this little guy lived there for a little bit um, he's a bear 
and uh, I had a bed which was on the ground and then I had a mini fridge and then I had a bathroom which was pretty big actually but uh, and then I had like a couple chairs very very just minimal you know living and I don't want to live like that again um, in that sort of crappy arrangement but I do want to live very minimal and um, definitely want to spend as little uh, as little as possible while still you know living a very good lifestyle and what I mean by that is you could you could have a good life with spending the least um, you could spend you know very little money on on things in general and like luxury goods but you really want to spend on more on like things that you'll use like your computer your chair making sure that's ergonomically good making sure that your bed is you know great um i first bought a very crappy bed and then i bought a casper and that turned out to be a great investment um but anyways i'm not going to talk about the bed or any of that um living by myself was really awesome uh, i learned to cook i had a few friends over but very rarely because again i'm not going to go into too much detail about what happened down there but things got a little bit crazy with this whole situation called COVID-19 and uh okay so um I'm not ready to move that topic yet um yeah so I moved I, I, I live next to my friend Michelle um you could follow her right here at Miss Michelle check out her um YouTube videos check out her website really love to uh, collaborate. We we worked together on this uh, video. She uh, had me in a while back, and then I also will post a video that I have with her if I could find the footage. I have no idea where the heck it went, but I'm gonna work to really get back on YouTube, share some great content, um, and uh, share more about my life with you guys. Um, so yeah, that, that that was. I mean, that was a very cool experience. She had this like Brava and cooked for me and then uh yeah we both had cockroach problems and then this uh i mean i was flying in between bay area and in la mm. I'm not gonna go into why at the moment um anyways uh, i had a lot of work i had clients in between both regions i had uh this one client called um well, I'm not gonna tell the parent name either, but um, they are a uh, Korean American brand and uh, it was really cool doing art direction for them. And I worked with um, Dan Matthews, which is this uh, Korean adoptee, uh, Korean American adoptee, um, very cool guy. Um, I, I, I really wish that I had more time in LA. Uh, I kind of, regret moving back at the moment because things have been very difficult adjusting here. I've been here for a while now, but I'm just having problems readjusting back to this life because I've been I've been literally living in so many different areas. I've been like kind of like flying and going all over the place since um, March of 2019 and now it's July of 2020. And uh, yeah, I mean, last year I finished my MBA at Santa Clara University and then I went to LA and then I came back to the Bay Area and then I went to LA again and uh, July 4th weekend I remember I was going up Griffith Park and then I fell down this ravine and uh, I was uh, basically yeah it was a very crazy experience in that I thought I was going to be stuck there for the night at least or maybe like for a couple days or something but uh, I, I checked my backpack and I didn't have any snacks or water yelled for help um, and nobody helped me and uh yeah i was tumbling down i was hitting all these bushes trying to hang on to these tree branches and stuff like that but it kept breaking and tumbling more and then i um the scroll uh heard me and um she essentially came down and helped me up and i'm very very thankful for that because it showed me that people there are people out there that do care about you even though they don't know who you are i, I don't know if uh, if God exists or some external force, you know, greater force exists. But at that moment, 
I'd like to believe so because that was a really an incredible moment in my life. Um, and, and then another instance where I moved to LA and a couple, couple months later and um, I was going to this comedy show in downtown LA and it's this Asian American comedy script, uh, show, uh, very cool. Uh, I would go, got there a little late. I was trying to park and I parked in this garage and I was trying to just get out of the garage and I got out and I, I got out of this door and then there's a gate and then I tried to, the gate was locked, trying to just exit the garage. And then the door behind me was just a one way um, exit in that meaning that I couldn't re go back in. And so I was like panicking. I couldn't get out. I was yelling for help. Uh, again, some people just saw me and then they didn't even care. And then some people finally after a while they saw me and then they stopped and then they tried to help they tried to get the door open the door wouldn't open and through the help of I guess these six or seven individuals uh, they're all from LA apparently um, they just helped me get over this fence and I basically essentially climbed up and I went got to the top and then they make sure that I just wouldn't fall and sort of told me exactly where to step. It was extremely dangerous. I could have died from that instance again. And I'm just very thankful that that happened. And I'm thankful for that, that, that because I could tell the story. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I remember after just getting like ton of adrenaline rush, like I was just, it was crazy. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm having trouble readjusting to the Bay Area and it's for many reasons. This COVID thing is a difficult situation. Um, COVID, basically, basically everyone has to wear masks 24-7. Um, there's this germ going around called the coronavirus. And basically, I'm not going to say what happened to me regarding it because I think that I have to be careful what I say, but in regards to COVID, let's just say that it causes fatigue, uh, shortness of breath, a dry cough, um, fever, loss of taste and smell. And these are just, those are just sort of the mild symptoms. And if you get the more moderate, it can go on for months. It can go on for 150 days plus. And if you get severe uh, case of the coronavirus, then you can end up in the hospital with a shortness of breath or just trouble breathing, trouble getting oxygen, uh, as well as um, getting put on a ventilator and having um, just problems with all of your organs, multi-organ failure, brain damage, um, kidney damage, liver damage, uh, all sorts of problems. And so the world has it's really crazy, but the world has absolutely changed overnight as a result of this. And I've been having a really hard time um, with this because it affected me so personally. I lost my business in March, 2020, and I lost a lot of consulting gigs, um, which amounted to a loss of nearly 90% of what I was making and it was really hard to accept that because in January I was at the top I was set feeling and now looking back there's nothing you can really never be certain but I lost everything um, I lost 90% of my revenue and at the moment I mean it didn't hurt because I was so numb to a lot of other things going on and I, uh, yeah, I lost that revenue and I just remember the day just getting like all these different phone calls, uh, or that week, um, March and April or that month, sorry. Um, so many clients were just starting to tell me that they couldn't work with me anymore because they ran out of money. And, uh, I mean, the startup I was working with in based on SF, um, they couldn't get funding. And so they had to uh, let me go. And uh, yeah, I mean, there's just so many clients that um, they owe me money, but they cannot pay it. And I just have to let it go. 
Um, and then that, and then there's so many like restaurants closing. And as you know, I work in the restaurant industry, so many restaurants closing and like, it's just so hard to see like your favorite restaurants closing. I was even circling around to get coffee earlier. And then I had to go to this boba shop, this urban ritual, three of my coffee shops that I would pick in this area closed. I was trying to go to coffee house in San Mateo or foreigner cafe or this uh, little coffee bakery place. Oh, actually four of them. And then there's one called Boutique Cafe and uh, it all closed. And then all the hours are closing earlier, like Blue Bottle Coffee closes at four instead of seven or 8 p.m. now, all locations. Uh, many locations are closing down of different sort of brands like Boba Guys and which I will not support anymore for many reasons. Uh, I just want to make that very, very clear. Um, oh yeah, and then just in general, like so much, so much like racial tension, people getting really, really mad over, um, you know, this, uh, this systemic racism and discrimination in the United States. Um, and it's not a very easy problem to solve because we, it's like a general, um, it's a very, it, it's very embedded into our society and it's something we can't just fix overnight and people are getting pissed and they can't, you know, they, there's not, not much we can do unless we just protest constantly and that does create some change. But, um, I mean, as a whole, like this is a very, very crazy time. This COVID again, everyone's wearing masks. I'm looking out my window right now I'm in my mirror and I'm seeing like everyone's wearing masks. Uh, places are closed. It's like 6 PM here in downtown San Mateo and no one's eating out today. Um, it's like, you know, it's July and it's been like so many months since this happened. Anyways, going back to, I have a lot of tangents, but going back to, yeah, I, I lost my business and it was crazy because I was working on that for four and a half years. Then I, I lost all my consulting gigs and uh, basically um, I had so many plans and just thinking, yeah, like we all had plans, right, for the future. Um, I was planning to write, uh, like just move to LA or move out at least to like Berkeley or San Mateo in the Bay Area. And then this all happened. Um, and I, I can still move out, I guess, but it's just like the germ is still going around. I don't see an end to this for the next couple of years until we get a vaccine. And I don't know if we will ever get a vaccine. And then money's, money's just kind of tight. Um, we're, we're in a very tight spot right now where it's hard to get a dollar um, if you're not working and even if you're an entrepreneur and it's hard to make money. I mean, all these businesses, they just don't have money. Um, and then stimulus check, there's only one of those if you made under a certain amount. And then um, EDD is like unemployment benefits last only a certain amount of time. And mine ended much earlier than a lot of other people. So, um, and yeah, I mean, there's just like a lot of issues here going on, um, uh, being Asian American, especially, uh, during this time, because the coronavirus came from China, sparked a lot of, um, anti-Asian sentiment and racism in the United States. It made me very wary to go out at first, especially in March around March 17, uh, when the lockdowns, lockdowns happened here in the, uh, in the LA, uh, in the OC region and then Santa Clara County where I live. Um, yeah, but it, it sparked a lot of racism and it made me very wary to go out and made me a little scared. I actually experienced two incidents of racism. Um, uh, it was very shocking because I never experienced that before. And then, I mean, yeah, it's been just very crazy time. It's July. Who knows what's going to happen next, right? So like we're we're at the halfway point of the year, just sort of hoping that things will get better, but I don't see this COVID thing getting better. I see it getting actually worse. Um a lot of people see it getting worse seeing that we have 270k cases in California. I was really hoping to move back to LA or at least to Berkeley or San Mateo, but I just really don't know. Like right now I'm just so, I'm just so like, there's so many things that are so uncertain. I need to figure out, you know, how am I going to make money again? Um, it's very weird to say that because I've been working so hard for the past four and a half years on my business and then it just got lost in a blink of an eye and I've been struggling to cope with that. 
Um, but yeah, I think at this time, I mean, I, I, I think I really developed an emotional resilience and um, gratitude for my life and just being alive and my health, being that it's not super bad, my health is okay. Um, I feel that um, I'm grateful for just the simple things like driving a car and music, my friends, um, it's easy to sort of take those things for granted um, when we're living everyday life, but really thankful to have, uh, sorry, I'm sweating like crazy. Um, but yeah, I'm uh, very thankful to have reconnected with a lot of my friends during this time and just video chatting as well as meeting in person uh, and keeping that social distance with masks. Um, just very, very thankful to reconnect with so many friends. So I have a lot more to say on this topic about COVID. Um, I have a lot to say about loss and job loss and loss in general. Uh, so much to share about my experience in LA still. Uh, but um, at this at this time, I, I think that I'm still trying to figure out like, how do I get to, how do I get back to LA? Um, how do I get a job? How do I make money? Stuff like that. And just being grateful for the everyday. Um, but anyways, I think this video was a little bit long. I'm going to share more in the next video about just all of this situation going on. But as always, wherever you are, please stay safe. Please wear a mask. That's more of a uh, demand rather than a request. Um, always wear a mask and uh, be safe out there. And uh, I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers, guys.